Welcome to yet another cooking demo. Today we will see how to prepare focaccia with wholemeal and durum flour, with an 80% hydration without using special flours. I will make a dough by hand and another with the stand mixer. I will use the same amounts of ingredients and we will see the final results. Let's start by kneading by hand. Take a bowl and put 320 grams of water in it. Put 8 grams of salt and turn until it's completely dissolved. Now prepare 250 grams of durum wheat flour and 150 grams of wholemeal flour. Pour about half of the flours and start mixing. After a while, dissolve the yeast. I used 8 grams of fresh yeast, but if you have dry yeast, you can use 3 grams. Now add the rest of the flour. The dough is very soft. The important thing is that everything is homogeneous. Well, now we need to close the bowl. In particular, I first wet the edge and then I put the film on it to make it adhere better. Then leave it to rest for 30 minutes. Let's now prepare the dough with the stand mixer. Start attaching the flat beater. Add, as before, the water and the salt and start mixing. Then, after a while, Pour in about half of the flour and keep mixing. Add the yeast and let it melt. Then add the rest of the flour and continue mixing. After a while, use the dough hook. Detach the dough from the sides of the container and get again mixing. The dough, being highly hydrated, will always be soft. Another way to cover the dough in the bowl is to simply put a lid on it that best fits the edge. Then let the dough rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take the baking trays, put a sheet of baking paper on top and pour a tablespoon of olive oil. Well, now we have to handle the dough. Pour a tablespoon of olive oil on the work surface and then on the dough. Pour a tablespoon of olive oil on your hands, stain with the oil the surface of the dough and try to close it on itself. Using a dough scraper could be very useful. This is handmade dough and needs more work at this stage. If necessary, add more oil and repeat the procedure. Not having used highly hydrated flours, the dough will hardly come out smooth. But don't worry, the final result will be the same beautiful. After this procedure, put the dough on the baking tray and let it rest for another 30 minutes. Now let's take the dough made with the stand mixer. We repeat the same procedures as before. In this case, after having closed the dough on itself a few times, it's already compact. After a while, put the dough on the baking paper. I make a mark on the baking paper to distinguish this dough made with the stand mixer from the other one kneaded by hand. After 30 minutes, we take the dough back. This time, pour a tablespoon of olive oil over the dough and flatten it with your fingertips until it's completely spread out on the baking tray. Do the same with the other dough. Pressing will create a small edge on the sides. Leave the dough for another 30 minutes. Now we have to prepare the topping. I chose red and yellow tomatoes and two tropea onions. Then take the cutting board and the knife and cut the cherry tomatoes in half. Add a tablespoon of olive oil and turn. Peel the onions and cut them first in half and then into wedges. Add two tablespoons of olive oil and turn. After half an hour rising, we can add the topping to the focaccia. 
I added the onions to the dough made with the stand mixer. Then, lay the onions on the surface and press them lightly. Instead, I put the cherry tomatoes on the handmade dough. Don't forget to press them lightly. Ok, now we have to heat the oven to 200 degrees. In the meantime, the focaccia will rise a little longer. When the oven reaches the temperature, bake the focaccia for 30 minutes. When cooked, take out the baking trays and let them rest for just 5 minutes before cutting the focaccia. Done! As you can see, both focaccia are beautiful. Obviously, there is less work to do with the stand mixer, but in any case, it's worth it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.